Welcome back to Minecraft. I'm Dave. And today, coming at you with another vehicle build tutorial. Today, we're going to build a pickup truck. So, the first thing we need to do is we're going to get our main body block, which we're going to be utilizing green wool. Our secondary color will be quartz. So, we're going to use quartz stairs and some stone slabs for the bottom of the vehicle. We're also going to grab a block of quartz. We're going to grab some signs, a painting, and an item frame. You'll see where these come in a little bit. The item frame, as usual, is for the rims along with a block of iron. And then we need to grab our tires, which, as always, we're going to use bedrock in the city texture pack. So one thing about this design is that this will only work in the city texture pack because of the way the paintings work in this, so you're not going to be able to build it exactly similar in other texture packs. Basically we throw in our two tires and then we do the pretty standard design that I like to do. I'm actually going to be switching it up here at the end of the video. At first I just do kind of a two blocks in the front near the tire. I do a two by four and then I build a two by four in the back again. So it's narrow in the back and it's wider in the front. We're going to offset the tires in the rear of the vehicle we're going to put them back one space. And the reason we're going to do that is we're actually going to build like a wheel well with the quartz stairs, which you'll see here in a second. So you can see I threw on the rims on those two tires there on the side. We're going to put up the main body of the vehicle now. So using the green wool, we're just going to fill in this space here in the front and along the side. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to throw our first quartz block right behind the green wool where the cab of the vehicle would be and underneath these quartz blocks was where we're actually gonna put another stone slab here in a little bit at the end of the video so basically I'm building a wheel well as you can see so you kinda have to angle your steps so that they're upside down and you kinda wanna make them form this design as you can see so you kind of have to play around with it a little bit to get them to line up just properly so that they look like the wheel well. But once you're done with it, it looks pretty sick. So definitely try it out. And you can use it on a lot of different vehicles. It doesn't just have to be this pickup truck. You can use it on a ton of different vehicles. So we're also going to put some upside down stairs at the front of the vehicle. And now we're going to put an item frame on these. And this is where the headlight is actually going to go for the front of the vehicle. Now what we're going to do on the back is do the same thing, throw the item frames in for the brake lights. We're going to put signs inside the truck bed. Now the reason we're doing that is because we're going to put a painting on it and basically use those signs as a place for the painting to sit. So I'm looking for the right painting. There's one that looks like a vent that I'm going to use and that's going to be on both the front and the back of the vehicle. So that looks like the tailgate on the back. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the front, try to find that vent so that it looks like a nice kind of, you know, air intake for the hood. Searching, 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 searching. Where is the vent? There it is. All right, awesome. So now we've got the front of our vehicle looking pretty decent. We're going to go ahead and build up vehicle but I figure out that I accidentally put those a little too far forward they actually need to go back they're gonna go on those first set of quartz blocks we're gonna go ahead and fill in the bottom there we're gonna leave it hollow though because we're gonna put glass panes in the back and then along the front as well so we're just doing stone slabs for the roof one thing that's a little ridiculous is that with this new update it always makes you put stairs upside down now so I haven't quite got used to that all the way yet if you place them at the top of a block it always puts them upside down so we're just gonna use some stairs to put in the seats in the main vehicle but I'm gonna actually have to go in through the roof cuz I put them upside down as you can see here in a sec oh I put snowballs in for my headlights by the way so that's where I put the steps in upside down so I just need to knock out the roof a little bit throw the steps in so they're oriented right so they look like seats go ahead and fill that back in with the stone slabs in the roof now then we're gonna throw in the glass panes 
and we're gonna grab this rose red dye which is actually gonna be what the tail lights are made with so I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the glass panes here for the windshield I think I might have actually forgotten to throw the windows in the back <laughs> back of the vehicle I think I did it's probably still that way on the map but oh well so put some buttons on for the door handles on either side so there they go gonna go ahead and go to the back and throw the rose red dye into the item frames on the back oh after I put the stone slabs underneath those quartz blocks remember to do that gives it a little bit more body makes it look a little bit better there we go go and throw the rose red in these rear item frames there's some tail lights they look pretty good so there you go that's the basic design turned out pretty good I'm pretty pleased with it I really like those paintings on both the front and back that was actually Adam fights idea so big props to him it looks really good it makes it look awesome my opinion is better than using the iron bars but there you go I hope that you build this it turns out to be a very cool looking vehicle definitely try it out as always it's been a pleasure remember to like and subscribe and take care